Hey there, how's it going? What can I do for you today? Good, who is this? I'm Jake, your friendly appointment sitter for Eternium AI. We make business automation feel like a breeze. What's on, on your mind? I'm wondering how I can book an appointment. Super easy. Just let me know when you'd like to swing by and we'll get you on the calendar. Any day or time that works best for you. Can I do tomorrow at noon? Give me a moment. Sweet. You're all set for tomorrow at noon. Looking forward to seeing you then. Don't forget to bring your burning questions. Yes, sir. Thank you. Anytime. Catch you tomorrow. Have a great day. You too. What's up, YouTube? If you don't know who I am, my name is Tyron the Tyrant. I'm the CEO and founder of Eternium AI, and I help people build, automate, and scale their business around their passions using the power of AI, automation, and social media. And this is the exact system that my agency charges $2,000 for with a $500 a month retainer. I'm going to give you everything so that you can take this, make it yours, and you can use it in your business, or you can even package it up and sell it as a service to other businesses. So, Let's jump right in. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to build this entire system. But if you want to save some time and money, the link down below will bring you to our school community right here. So you have a ton of different resources, a ton of different courses that you can use to build, automate and scale your business around your passion online right now. But if you go into the business systems right here, this is where you can download all of the resources. So right here. All right, so I have everything in this Notion document. So you can grab both of the scenarios that we're going to use, all of the prompts, and then I also included a little step-by-step -step tutorial for you if you like to read more than you like to listen. So first and foremost, the tools we're going to need, you're going to need to create a VAPI account. You can grab the link to that down below. So you can just click this, bring you right to it, and you can sign up 100% for free. All right. So once you sign up for Vappy, you're also going to need a make.com account. Again, use the link down below and you can sign up 100% for free as well. So now when you're in make, you will be brought to something like this. All right. So if you go back to the notion document, you can download the file by just clicking into it and then just click this little download button there and make sure you do that for the second one as well. All right, and then once you have those downloaded, navigate to the create a new scenario button right here. Okay, navigate, obviously it's going to be in the scenarios tab. So go to the scenarios tab, click on create a new scenario. And then from there, just click these three dots right there and import the blueprint. Do this two times, one for, one for each scenario. So now that you have both scenarios imported, you should see something just like this. All right, we have done majority of the work for you. We've built this out completely on your behalf. All right, so that's scenario two, this is scenario one. So real quick, before we continue, we're going to need one more thing. So right here, you're going to need the Eternium Business Core or Go High Level. But if you join the community, which at the time of recording this is $25, you get a free high level account. High level is normally $99 a month. You get it 100% for free in addition to all the resources, all the other courses, the community, the weekly trainings, the mastermind groups, everything for $25. But the price will double here soon. So by the time you're watching this, it may be more than that. So make sure you join with the link below. So we're going to click into this and you will be brought to your Eternium account. All right. So once you sign up, go through everything, you will be emailed automatically your Eternium information. So you can just log in. All right. It'll seriously save you $75 a month. But if you just want to use high level or you already have a high level account, just go ahead and follow from here. If you want to sign up for a go high level independently, you can do so with the link down below as well. So once we are in here, I have created the automation for you in Eternium. So if you go to the automations tab and then you scroll down here, you'll see appointment assistant. So click into that and here we are. This is exactly what we want. All right, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use dummy data because I don't wanna expose any of my API keys or anything like that, but I will guide you through the process of setting this up using your data, all right? So next, let's go over the scenarios within make because these are, these are what's going to connect everything together. All right, so we have set up Vapi, we have set up Eternium or Go High Level, and now we have Make. So now that we have all of these, we're ready to go. So scenario one, 
All right, this is what we're going to connect high level or Eternium to make. Okay, that's what we're going to do here. And then in the second module, and don't worry, I'm going to walk you through the process of doing this, just explaining the workflow. The second module is going to send the information that we get from here, from Eternium or high level, it's going to send that information to VAPI, the customer's information, and then VAPI is going to call our customer or our lead or whoever we're setting this workflow up for, all right? And then it's going to store the data in make so that we can use that in the other workflow. All right, super simple. If you do not understand that, do not worry. This is a no-code platform. You don't really need to know the nuances of everything, but understanding what each node does is really going to help you, especially when you sell this to other businesses. So now let's go to the webhook right here. Okay, just click into it. And then we're going to connect this URL to Go High Level or to Eternium. So let's copy this address just by clicking this button and then just navigate back, click into the webhook node right here. And then just paste that in this URL box right there. So now that you have that, just make sure that the method is set to post because we're sending this information to make, all right, via this URL. And then we're also going to send this contact ID with this value in addition to everything else connected to the contact, such as their name, their phone number, and everything else we need to call them, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So once we have that, make sure you save, publish the workflow, and then we're good on that front. And I'll just say real quick that you can set the trigger by default. The trigger is set to a form submission. So when someone submits a form on a website or a sales page, it's going to trigger this entire workflow. So as soon as they submit a form, they're going to get a call. All right. So you can build this out as robust as you want. If you want more automations, more ways to use this, the entrepreneur empire, the school community has an entire course dedicated to these kind of automations. All right. So keep that in mind. You can change this to whatever you want. Now that we have this connected, go to the HTTP request module. And this is where we're going to set up an API call for VAPI. So we're going to send this information to VAPI so that they can call our customer or our lead. All right. So let's go back to VAPI. Again, if you haven't signed up to this, it's free to sign up. Just use the link down below. All right. So now that we're in here, just go to platform and then we're going to first create an assistant. So right here with the demo, I have Jake. Okay. And I will give you this entire prompt within that notion document. So within this prompt, you can customize it however you want. Obviously it's going to have, you can name it whatever you want. You can give it a personality. You can obviously put your hours in your, in your business name or your client's business name. But the thing we're going to focus on is this appointment booking tool right here. All right. So this is what the agent is going to use to book the second scenario right here. So it's going to trigger this workflow. This is what's actually going to book the call. And again, don't worry if that doesn't make sense. All we need to do right now is make sure you create an assistant. So let's go through, I'll walk you through the process. Okay. Create an assistant, name it. I'm going to do YouTube test for this example. And then we can just do blank template. Like I said, I'm giving you everything. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to use any of these quick start things. However, in the future, if you want to get freaky with it, go for it. So create assistant. And so now you can paste that prompt. You can change the first message. So as soon as they answer the phone, what is your assistant going to say? What is your agent going to say? And then you can change the provider. You can use it. You can you can leave it at open AI. It's fine. Model, you can use 4.0 mini cluster. This is a little bit better than 3.5. Then you can leave everything the same. However, this knowledge base. So if you are setting this up for your business, you can upload documents such as product information, hours, employee information. Like if you have a team of salesmen, you can, you can upload documents for for them and their contact information if you want. Like you can upload documents for your business or again, if you're using this for as a service for other businesses, you can upload documents on their behalf. And that's where the retainer model comes in because you can charge them a setup fee of $2,000 
That's what we charge at, a, at Eternium. And then we charge a $4.99 monthly retainer. So not only can we make sure that everything's well oiled and working, that there's no bugs or anything, but if they have a special or if they have a change in employment or if they have a change in any aspect of their business, we can upload the documents and update the documents accordingly with this knowledge base. So keep that in mind. So once you have that done, you can go to the transcriber. I would leave this the same. This is just how the voice from the client is going to be transcribed into readable language for the, for the agent. Okay, so you can leave this the same, but depending on your industry, you can have, there, there are different things you can choose. Like if, they're in the med like if you're in the medical field, there's different things that you can use, but generally just keeping it at Nova 2 will get you going. And then here, voice configuration. This is where you configure the voice, right? Very self-explanatory. So by default, Cartesia is what it's going to use. I like 11 labs. It's a little bit pricier per minute and a little bit more latency. It takes a little bit longer, an extra 400 milliseconds. So a little bit longer, but I like the quality aspect that you get with the 11 labs voices, not to mention they have a ton of different options. And what's cool is if you do have 11 labs or if you want to use 11 labs, you can use my link down below, you can actually train it on your voice. All right, you can create a fine tuned model on your voice. So your agent is basically a, a version of you to answer calls on your behalf. It's wild, right? So if you want to do that, you can, but like I said, 11 labs has a ton of cool voices you can use. Personally, I really like, where is he, Benji? I like Benji. He's what I use for Jake, for my appointment setting bot for Eternium. He's just very, very mellow, almost too mellow in some instances, but the voice quality is very good. And then you can go down here, and if you do go with 11 Labs, you can choose the model that you want. The, I believe, Multiling or 11 Turbo is really good. That is what I would recommend if you do 11 Labs, and then you can leave everything basically the same. However, the only other thing, we'll, we'll go into functions in just a second, but if you go into advanced, or where is it? Yeah, so, sorry, it's just not loading very quick. So if you go into advanced, you can change the voicemail message. So if no one answers, what do you want the agent to leave a voicemail as? And then you can add the end call message. So before it ends the call, what do you want it to say? You know, you can, you can get fancy with it too. But other than that, this is basically all ready set and done for you but go in here fine tune it to your offer your business and you'll be good so next sorry this is taking longer than i thought but i'm going through everything i want to give you as many as much insight into this as possible okay so we have the tools which we are going to set up and then also before we do that i want to just bring up the fact that you can forward the calls to your phone number if you want so we're going to set up a phone number for this assistant but if you want your assistant to forward the call to you, to your personal phone, you can, you can add your number here, all right? So now let's go into the tools. So in the prompt, remember, I have set the name as, what is it, appointment, it's like apt booking, yeah, appointment booking. So we're just going to create a tool with that name. All right, so I'm going to go back to this agent and then go back to functions. And then we're going to go to tools and then just create a new tool. All right. And then I'm just going to go up here, new tool. And so we're going to use make because we're going to use this workflow with make. All right. <laughs> Super simple. So now jumping ahead just a little bit, but we're going to navigate to the second workflow or the second scenario in make and then we're just going to take this webhook URL and just grab that copy it and then just put it right in here okay and then save it that way we're getting all the vappy stuff taken care of ahead of time and then 
now we just need a property name. Let's name this booking time. This is the data that we want our agent to create, okay? And since we're booking an appointment, we want to grab the time that the, that the client wants to book a time from, okay? So we're going to do booking time, and then we're just going to describe the, the, what this is. We're going to just describe it, and then it's really simple. This is the time that the customer wants to book an appointment just like that save it and you're good so let's go next and now we're going to name the tool remember let's do apt booking just like that and then we're just going to describe it this is used when the customer wants to book an appointment just like that and then create and now we have I have a lot of tools <laughs> that are that are the same okay I've done I did a course in the community on this so don't mind all the confusing similar names all right it doesn't matter you should have just one tool named appointment booking so now just go back into your assistant and then go to functions and just make sure oops scroll back up make sure that you have that tool selected and to be honest I don't know I don't know which one is the one I just created it doesn't matter I'm just going to click that one and then we just publish alright bam so now that is that is all done so now we just need to connect our VAPI API key and then add our assistant ID and then get our phone ID. Sounds confusing? It's not, I promise. So let's go back to VAPI. Then go down to the settings right here, click and go to API keys. And it's going to bring up your private a uh, your private key. Okay, so just copy that with this button. Then go back to the scenario and then we have the value here. Like I said, I've already created this for you, so make sure that you grab this entire value right here from bracket to bracket. You don't want any brackets, and then just paste your API key there. I'm not going to paste my API key because this is my actual account. This is not a demo account, so I'm not going to give you guys my API key. I don't want you guys to use my API key. I don't want you guys to use my account, but pretend there's an API key here, okay? I'm just going to do some some mumbo jumbo boom that's my API key yours will look different then you want to make sure that the B on bearer is capitalized and then you want to make sure that there is a space right here all right make sure there's a space make sure your API key is there make sure it's capitalized good all right moving on this is the only the only two things we need to do left on this or grab our assistant ID and then grab a phone number grab a phone ID oops so let's go back to VAPI. So you're going to need a phone number first. If you already have high level and you have a, what is it called, Twilio number, you can import that number here. Or if you don't have a phone number for your agent, you can buy one for two bucks. Two whole dollars, all right? So just buy a number and you can throw that, this code right here. This is the phone ID, my goodness. And then we're going to go back in here. I'm not going to paste my actual phone ID because, again, I don't want you guys to use my phone number. So we're just going to do stuff like that. All right. Boom. And then grab assistant ID. So go back into VAPI. Oh, my goodness. I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Then go to assistance. And then it's going to be in the same spot. All right. So you grab copy assistant ID. And right here. Then we just go in and paste it right I'll, I'll actually paste this because I'm not going to use this agent just like that perfect now this is good okay so just double check everything make sure that the URL is exactly that it should be if you if you use the the template then we'll just save that all right so now we have data store this should already be set up for you. 
all right it's just going to store the custom data for the contact ID and the phone number it's just going to make sure that these are linked that's it just so we know who's calling and their unique ID associated to that number so once you have that done all right now it is a good time to test so now if you go back to Eternium and you go to test workflow make sure you create a contact in Eternium or high level with your name and your phone number so you can actually have it call you because if you set this up correctly and you run the test make sure that you run this so click run once it's going to make this live and then go back to Eternium and then run the test okay if you if you set everything up correctly it will call you your agent will call you if you set up your phone number and everything if you put your contact information in your contact right here you'll get a call that's a good thing you want this to happen so if everything worked congratulations we are halfway there so let's go into the second scenario and really the only thing we're, we have to do here we've already done majority of the hard work so we already connected the trigger for the webhook here you know by our agent so whenever we want to book an appointment or whenever we tell the agent or someone tells the agent that we want to book an appointment, it will trigger this workflow. So it's going to trigger the workflow. It's going to grab their data. It's going to format the time and everything. It's going to send that to Eternium so then we can get the available times. So let's say if we want to book for noon, it's going to be like, okay, and then it's going to look at the calendar that we want, make sure that that time is available. And then from that time, if it is available, it's going to go up here. It's going to post that information. It's going to schedule the appointment, and it will show up on our calendar. Boom, easy. If it's not available, if that time is not available to be booked, it's going to go down here. It's going to be like, okay, it's not available, so let's grab all the times. So let's take that time that they want, grab that whole entire day, and then from that entire day, what times are available on that calendar, Let's format it in this way with ChatGPT and then send that information back. And then it's going to go whoop, go back to the agent. The agent's going to be like, okay, this time and this time. Does that work? And then if they say yes and it is available, then boom. Good. So that's a quick little rundown of this, this workflow. So let's make sure we go into data store. Just make sure that the values are, you know, looking, looking good. Like I said, this should all be done for you. If it's not done for you and you didn't download the template, you can just copy this, like just pause it, input that data there. So let's do the OpenAI notes. So you're going to have to connect your OpenAI account. It's very easy. If you need help to do it, just click this little resource there. And then, as I mentioned a, a billion times, like <laughs> all of this is done for you. If the prompt is right here, if it's not for whatever reason, you can just go to the Notion document and it's going to be OpenAI node here. That's the prompt. And then OpenAI node 2 is the prompt for the other one. I don't know why the text is black, but it doesn't matter. You can, <laughs> the information is there, all right? So here, like, there's really nothing else you have to do. Just connect your OpenAI account, and then just make sure your values add up to this. It's going to make sure that we use that appointment time function for our agent. It's going to put this information in there so we can book the appointment. All right. Other than that, it's all we need. So let's go back. Why is my thing zooming out? Computer's being a little weird. There we go. So if we go into this HTTP module, this is where we actually will connect our calendar. Okay. We'll connect our Eternium account and the associated calendar that we want to book to. So don't. Don't be freaking out if this is too much. It's really not. It's not that hard, okay? So make sure everything is good, okay? It should be. So now we're just going to need to create an access token. So similar to what we did with the API key for VAPI, we're going to do here. Only we're going to go to Eternium. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go back. Then we're going to go to settings right here in the corner and then private integrations. So from here, let's create new integration. And then let's do, I'm just gonna name this YouTube VAPI agent 
tutorial. And the next, so you can name yours whatever you want, obviously. Then for the scopes, all you are going to need is view calendars, edit calendars, view calendar events, edit calendar events. If you want your appointment or if you want your agent to be able to book appointments, you're going to need those four scopes, those four permissions. But you can you can give it realistically as many permissions as you want. It doesn't really matter. But if you want it to function with this functionality, you're just going to need those four. All right. So go ahead, create that. And then you're going to get a token, the access token. So just copy that. And then make sure you paste this in a document because we're going to need this for another HTTP module later. All right, so go ahead, copy that. And now let's go back to this and paste that right. If I can get that last bracket, there we go, or, or not. So I'm just going to paste that, make sure you get rid of all the brackets and make sure that there's just one space there. Boom. Make sure, obviously, capital B, and you're good. Then make sure that all the values match up. Make sure we have the version with the API data. Just, just make sure that it's good. Make sure it matches up. Don't change anything if you are if you use the template. All right. Then lastly, we have to do three things with this JSON data. We need to grab the calendar ID the location ID and then the time zone alright so those three things super easy let's do it so first off calendar ID and I if I keep clicking on that I'm gonna lose my my bananas alright <laughs> so let's go to we're already in settings so let's just go to calendars so go to settings calendars and then right here this is the ID so just click that it'll copy to clipboard boom and then we go up here, bam, and then we just paste this in the quotation marks. And whoa, whoa. Just like that. And then we just paste, blam. And now we need location ID. So go back. And you can actually grab this in two different spots. You can grab it right here, this little string like that. Or if you just go into business profile, you can grab it right here. So we'll just click that, go back in, and again, just paste it in here. Waboom. And now, finally, we need to do the start time. So we just need to grab the just the time zone, I guess. So I'm in GMT minus 06 because I'm in the Denver time time zone. So that's all you need to do is just paste whatever it is that your time zone is according to GMT. If you're in California, I believe it's minus seven. If you're in New York, I believe that would be minus zero four o'clock and et cetera. You can Google it if you don't know, but that's that's all you need to do there. Just format it plus or minus whatever it tells you. So once you have that, you're good to go. So let's go back out. Then here, why is my computer going slow? So here, I'll just run run through this again real quick. So in the event that the data we get from this HTTP request is good, it's going to go up here. Okay, so when the appointment slot is, av is available, you know, a good, a thumbs up, which is a 201 code, it's going to go up this route. So that's, that's what this means, All right? That's what the filter is. So when it's good, when it's available, it's going to trigger this this is going to trigger the time to the to the calendar it's going to book the appointment and then it's going to store the data all right and I'll open this for you so you know what it looks like just like that good cool and then in the event where the booking time is not because when you get the error code when it's not available the text operator contains the word not okay when it's not available it will go down here so that's what that means and then don't worry about this mumbo jumbo this is just grabbing you know when they requested the time which is noon during that day grab the beginning of that day to the end of that day 
and then push that to chat GPT or sorry reference that with Eternium with our calendar and grab all those available time slots that's what this is so in here we're just going to need to grab or get rid of this okay replace this with our calendar ID and if you can remember how to do that we just go into settings calendars and then just click on that bad boy go back up here then just paste it boom and then lastly we just need to grab the time zone again but instead of the GMT minus plus whatever we're just going to grab this so for me I'm in America slash Denver time zone you will be in wherever time zone you are but just format it in that way if you set up your Eternium or high level account correctly with your correct time zone you can just grab it right here so I'm like I said America Denver America Denver so I'm going to grab that just paste it right there and I'm good and then lastly just make sure if you saved your access token for Eternium paste that bad boy right in here remember it's gonna be pit and then like a bunch of numbers and letters and then that's it boom so now you are good then lastly just make sure again that your that your open AI account is connected and then just make sure all the data looks like this okay so when the time is not available it will be like okay well here is the available times it's formatted in this way and then it's going to send that data right back to the agent alright with the result it's all this does so yeah once you have all of that figured out once so once you have all of that done make sure you run both workflows okay so we're gonna go up here run once bam and then run once bam I completely botched this so don't don't worry about that I use dummy data that doesn't work so it's not going to let me run it but make sure you run both of them go into Eternium and then just test the workflow with your data once again so it will call you and then you just tell it that you want to book an appointment and when you tell it that you want to book an appointment obviously tell it what time you want the appointment to be at and then make sure that it's sending the data you'll see little animations going boop 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 bing bong and then it's going to give you you know a green light and then it's going to the agent's going to let you know cool well you booked your appointment I'll see you then that's that's it it's beautiful and then once you book an appointment you can go back into your calendar calendar section right here then depending on when you booked your appointment you should see the event in your calendar and then from there like I mentioned you can create insane workflows just around that so when someone books an appointment you can send them emails you can send them text messages you can add them to lists and the list goes on and on so if you want more sauce like that join the entrepreneur empire the link is down below like I said, you get a ton of trainings, you get a ton of courses, you get weekly calls with yours truly, you get a high-level account, you get Eternium for virtually free. Instead of paying 100 to $500, you get it absolutely for free just for being a member. So if you want to build, automate, scale your business with AI, social media, automations, all the fun stuff, and you want to be surrounded by people doing the same and ride this AI wave together, Join with the link down below. I will see you on the other side. And my friend, I appreciate you watching this video. I really do genuinely from the bottom of my heart, hopefully hope that this was helpful. If it was helpful, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. If you want more cool stuff, make sure you check out this video right here. And with that said, my friend, I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep conquering.